Hi, I'm Justin and thanks for clicking on this video. Um, today is your lucky day because we'll be making this. Ta-da! So yeah, and, uh, obviously it's called a bow knot button down shirt. So, uh, before we move on, a little disclaimer, I'm not a professional. I just started sewing when I was in eighth grade. So I was like two, three years ago. I'll be making this just for like, you know, fun. And if you want to try this also, that would be great. Uh, so yeah. First up, we're going to be needing a measuring tape. Okay, but I didn't actually need it to do that. And this is the part where we measure ourselves related to our pattern. Hi, I'm back. After we're done with the measurements, we're gonna move on to pattern making. Yeah, I've made a pattern on my math notebooks. This is my math notebook and this is the pattern. So uh, technically this is the, um, wait, uh, this is the design I was uh, going for. This is me telling how I envisioned the project and how the clothes will look as sections. Yeah. So, after that, we're gonna be needing like a big piece of paper. Uh, guess what I've found? Ta-da! Parchment paper. Would have thought this would be useful, so. <laughs> So I'll be using parchment paper because we broke. We're going to be laying down our paper. So. Like this. So basically, I'll be sketching the drawing that I had in my math notebook in a larger scale and we'll be cutting it out. So we're done with the pattern making. Um, I know they're not the best, but we'll try to manage this. So please, if you're trying this, uh, make your own uh, pattern that would be convenient for your, uh, like, your work. Because this is not technically how you do or make a pattern. This is just how I do it, so. So in this project, we'll be using this furry type material. I don't really know what it's called, but we'll be laying it down on the ground well if you have a mat then that's good so we'll be laying out our pattern on the fabric and we'll be cutting down the pieces hi we're gonna be sewing the big pieces first and we'll be moving on to the smallest so we'll be pleating this part first so that would be like the front panel and then there would be another one here and then we'll attach where the button will be put and yeah by this part we're gonna be starting to sew and i started sewing my front part which is the top and bottom panel so i have four pieces in total and after that we're gonna move on to our back part we will be stretching this so that we could pleat it oh i'm not sure if this is gonna work Oh, yes, it does. Oh. Okay. Um, we're going to be pulling the thread and pushing the fabric. So. Hi, this is me editing. If you hear noises from my clips, that's my brother. I'm really, really sorry if it bothers you. Anyways, so yeah, that, that, was, that was just it. We've attached the two pieces together. It's now time to make the back part. So, yeah. And this is the part where I forgot to record how I did my back part. <sighs> I'm back. I've finished the back part. Yay. By the way, I'm sorry if I'm wearing a hat. I'm having a terrible hair day. We'll be pleating this. This is the, the lower back part. And I will be attaching it to this, which is the top, uh, the top, the top part. This is me attaching the top and bottom panel for the back and I made a pleat on the bottom panel where the top and bottom panel meet. I didn't, I'm, I'm not sure if that makes sense. Oh, we got it done. So it looks like this. Yeah, it has like a pleat on, on front. Uh, there's a lot of pins on the table. Um, if you can hear like a lawnmower, please excuse that. That's my neighbor. Like, like straight across this window. Like, 
from front up. Yeah. Moving on, we'll be attaching this back part and front part. So we can have like the tie thing attached and the sleeves. So before we put the sleeves, we'll be cutting the armhole. Wow, I just realized I did not make any sense from the previous clip. Anyways, we're attaching the front and back panel and we're gonna be sewing them together. And then I proceed on making the sleeves, the necktie, and the button straps. And this part, I ran out of fabric, so I decided to cut out a piece of fabric on our couch, which is not a great idea. By this part, I now sewed the armholes and the sleeves together. Wait, hold on. <laughs> this is making me dizzy. This is what it looks like. I'm gonna have to put the necktie in here still and hem the bottom part of the of the piece and also put the cuff. I decided to work on the cuffs and attach the strap where the buttons will be and yeah. We got the cuffs done. We put some whole strap. It's gonna be needed when you like cut the button here and then it'll snap close. <laughs> um, this is me attaching the cuffs to the sleeves and boy, j just watch. Oh my gosh, look at this. I sewed the cuff on the bottom part of the front. Well, it's time to use the magic weapon. If you're new to sewing, this is gonna be helpful. Because if you make mistakes like this, <sighs> this has to be done. We're gonna um, remove the stitches on this and... Oh my goodness. After that suffering, I correctly attached the sleeves and the cuffs on the right side. Hi. Just for context, we're now on the second day of the making of this project. There's a little bit of problem because I've planned to like make the sleeve puffy, but when I try it on, it's not that fluffy and it's too long. So what we're gonna do is put like a, a pad here, like a shoulder pad to make the sleeve go up and then so that the sleeve would be shorter. Hi. I've said at first that I was gonna put a shoulder pad for the puffy sleeve effect on this. I decided to change that because what I plan to do now is to- I'm back again. About that sleeve thing, that didn't really want to plan. Things about that change, you'll see later on. It's to rush, rush, rushing, sorry, rush, oh. Anyways, I now move on sewing close the sleeves and connecting it to the cuff. Yay! So, we finished the sleeves all locked up. I tried this on and it fits good. For the strips that we cut, we're just gonna see if how it works. So we'll be moving on with the bottom part. Next, we'll be putting the ribbon. So yeah. This is me starting up the buttonhole strap and sewing the edges together. We finished this part. The reason why I put like a white fabric at the back because it's so thin if it's like this by itself for the buttonhole and it's too thick if it's the two of them so um we need to use this buttonhole foot i don't know what it's properly called so we're gonna remove like the normal foot so we're gonna be changing it with this one to make the buttonholes on the strap 
you're going to need them to measure the distance of each buttonholes depending on how many buttonholes you want. I forgot to click video while I was sewing the buttonhole and this for... So this is the buttonhole attached to the panel. We need the other button strap and we're gonna be putting it here. Can y'all hear that? We're back and it's a beautiful day today because we can hear the birds chirping. The last time we've left the, the buttonholes and we're gonna put the buttons on the other side of the panel so we can have the closure. And lastly, we're gonna put the tie. Yeah, let's go. This is me sewing the other half of the strap and then after that, I hand sewed the buttons in place and then attach it to the front panel. We've attached the buttons and this is how it looks. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh. so this is the back. For the last thing, we're gonna add some embellishments for or buttons for the cuff and lastly for the tie. So this is so exciting. This is me locking up the stitches that connects the button straps and the front panel. After that, I proceed on cleaning out the necktie and then attached it on the piece. After attaching them, I then proceed on sewing them together. After that, I don't know why this happened but we had some time to do some little photo shoot and then proceed to order some lunch. Chicken tenders not out. Mm, we got the good stuff. Ooh, should I should I eat one more crisp? Thanks. Now we're heading home. We're gonna head home. No, we're heading home, and we'll continue with the sewing. So, so this is how it looks like. This is me checking if there's any adjustments that needs to be done. For the shoulder issue, I sewed the top part of the sleeve to create a fold. After that, I then hemmed the bottom part of the piece in place. And now we're done! Now for the grand reveal! Okay, the reason why I'm inside the car is that I saw someone went outside and I don't want to film in front of them, so yeah. Oh, okay. Should I go out? I don't know.